Hey everyone, meet Calhoun. He's a goofy park ranger that discovers all sorts of mysteries and monsters in the state park he works at. Coming soon to TikTok. I'm going to show you how I made this armature. It's actually one that I've made before, but I'm not really happy with it. So we're going to take what we learned from that first draft and make a new one. I'm going to start with a flat, two-dimensional drawing of Calhoun. The drawing is to scale so I can use it to measure out all of my pieces. First I'm just deciding where I want my joints to go, then I'm getting some rough measurements so I know how much material I need. I'm using a variety of brass stripping and tubing from K&S. The brass tubing is all designed to telescope and fit inside of itself like this. For the ball joints, I'm going to be using these ball links from my local hobby store. These are actually made for RC cars, but I found that they're perfect for really quick and easy ball joints. All of the joints are going to be made out of this 1mm by 6mm brass stripping. I started out by marking where all of the holes need to go using my calipers, and then I made this little wooden jig to keep everything aligned while I drill through it. I used a drill press, but you can also just do this by hand. Now I go through and I thread all of the plates and test fit them on this little scrap piece of tubing. This is exactly how they'll be attached to the puppet, so I can test fit everything before moving on to shaping the joints with a Dremel or a file. The hinge joints are made using the round brass tubing and the round plastic tubing. I'm cutting them to be the same width as the square tube that I'm making the limbs out of. I think I can just fit the plastic inside of the brass and use it to keep the bolt aligned inside of the joint. I've tried a lot of varieties of solder on this brass tubing, but for some reason the only one that I've found that works really well is this Tix Flux solder. It's about $23, but it works really well and it has a great bond. I just was not happy with these hinge joints. I think I was on the right track, but there just wasn't enough surface area. So after I finished these, I went to the store and I got some solid brass rod. I cut it with this little pipe cutter and I replaced all of the hinge joints on the puppet with this. It's a lot smoother and way stronger than the previous method, and I really recommend just doing it this way. To make the hip block, I just need both sizes of that square brass tubing. I'll start by cutting a notch out of the larger tube. This way I can create a really strong T-joint, sort of like this. I also need two more little pieces of that larger tubing that I can use as rigging points to lift the puppet in the air while I'm animating. This is really easy to solder since it all just kind of lays on top of itself. To finish it up, I went through and I screwed in and soldered in the balls, just like this. More on these later. The chest block is the biggest change between this first draft and this one. The old one was clunky and too wide, so for this armature, I just cut two joint plates off camera. This is basically just a single ball joint, but with an added space to attach the balls like this. They all get soldered in place so they're nice and strong, and it came out really nice. I'm really happy with this chest block, and I think I'm going to keep using it in the future. These feet are really simple. 
I just need two more single ball joints and some plates I made using the brass stripping. The single ball joint will allow the toe to be on a hinge, but the ankle to be on a ball joint for maximum mobility. I soldered on the side of the single ball joint that the bolt passes through, just in case I ever need to replace the threading. I also soldered a piece of tubing onto the toe. This tubing was later replaced with the solid brass rod just like the rest of the hinges, and I'm much happier with it after doing so. Now that all of the individual pieces are done, I just need to double check my measurements, cut out any remaining material I need, and drill the holes for the joint plates. At this point I also added in the rest of the balls for the ball joints. Most of them just need the tube to be rounded out a little bit and they can be drilled straight in. But some of them need to be cut and soldered in place for added stability. I couldn't be happier with this armature. It's much better than the first draft in about every way, and it's a much better fit for this character. I can't wait to move on to finishing the rest of the puppet and bringing Calhoun to life. Thanks for watching! Make sure to like and subscribe, and be on the lookout for Ranger Calhoun on TikTok!